Hello Live Wires, Heather Boyd Wire here and today it's Tip Tuesday. Today I'm going to show you my favorite beads and one kind of bead that you should definitely not buy. I've been making wire jewelry for 34 years and in this video I'm going to show you my favorite beads that I use for my work and for my tutorials. Here I have the most popular beads I use including 6mm, 4mm and 8mm beads. I use miracle beads and also cat's eye beads, semi-precious stones, different sizes of round beads and also seed beads. These are crow beads which are larger seed beads. Check the description below the video for this PDF with all my favorite beads. I have 4mm and 6mm and 8mm miracle beads. You guys know these are my favorite beads. Miracle beads are also known as magic beads and they are made of acrylic resin and have several layers of colored lacquer to give them a 3D quality. I'll link up a tutorial for these dragonflies made with my favorite miracle beads. I also love these glass check beads. These are 6mm. I have round and faceted check beads and I use them for these charms from the 10 day charm bracelet making challenge. I love these semi-precious stone chips. I have a variety of quartz, rose quartz, hematite and different mixed ones and also these real amber pieces from an old necklace. I love these for the trees. They also come in round shapes. They're great for rings. And I have a couple of tutorials that I'll link up below using the stone chips. Hematite is one of my favorites for sure. I have four, six, and eight millimeter sizes that I use a lot. They also come in magnetic hematite, but I don't use these ones at all. And the hematite is beautiful for rings. And then of course seed beads, they come in a variety of sizes. And I use the standard six slash zero size for most of my work. You'll see the different sizes here. And the larger ones are called crow beads. So in the PDF, you'll see the different popular sizes of seed beads. I generally use the six size, but a lot of people use the smaller size. And then of course I use the crow bead size, which is nine millimeter. I've used the smaller seed beads to do the alphabet. And then of course, these are just some very inexpensive plastic pearls. I got them at the dollar store, but they're fun for different designs as well. I also love cat's eye beads. These were really popular in the 90s. They're made of glass and they have a little line through them that make them look like cat's eye. I'll link up a tutorial for my classic daisy earrings made with the cat's eye beads. Here is the bead that you should never buy. These crackle beads were popular about 20 years ago, but I stopped using them when I had a few too many of them explode. Even if there's a 0.1 chance that your bead will break, it's definitely not worth using these beads, especially if you are selling your jewelry. Thanks so much for watching the video. Give it a big thumbs up if you liked it. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for lots more wire art and jewelry making videos. And if you'd like to share photos of your wire art and jewelry, be sure to join the Wire Makers Club on Facebook. And if you'd like to check out my work on Etsy, my husband and I specialize in custom wedding cake toppers and funky jewelry. I also have a mailing list, so if you'd like to sign up below, I'll send you my Wire Art Essentials ebook. So thanks again for watching, and we'll see you the next time.